So now let us understand how the rigs work inside of Character Animator. So you can see here that I have a character right here and what the character is based on is rigs of different layers. So in order to see uh, the rig, you go over here onto the left side where you find this little puppet like things right here. That is the rig right here. So if you were to double click on this, what happens is that you're taken onto the rig tab right here or you can come over here onto the rig tab as well. So over here, you can see that there's a hierarchy of all of the layers that is used right here. And you can see right here that individual components, if I were to click over here, is selected just like these. So these are individually designed. And as I click on it, you can see that if I were to click here, the face is selected right here, as you can see right here. So this is the face. And then these are like uh, other things right here. As you can see, the joints and everything else is controlled right here. And this is how a basic rig, set rig setup is. So you have the left eye, the right eye and everything else. And all of them are layers. So over here, if I were to disable the right eye, you can just click on it. The left eye disappears and then the right eye disappears right here. All of them are arranged out in layers and they are parented together. So you can see right here that this is tell the character right here. And this is the main uh, parent of everything. So under that is head right here and head is parented out with the rest of the body right here. So if I were to disable head, you can see that everything else disappears as well. So over here, there's some hidden layers as well. Like there's like laugh right here, as you can see, which you can turn on. There's like question marks, which you can turn on by this. There's growl right here, which you can turn on. So all of them are its own layers, just like this. There's tears as well, just like that. So a lot of things are there. There's the body as well, which you can turn on and so forth. There's different shapes that you can see. And along with uh, each of these layers, you can see that there's keyboard uh, shortcuts there. Like for here, there's one. Uh, for busy, there's one right here. So these are the triggers. So the keyboard triggers are there. So if you were to press those keyboard triggers while you're actually working out, what happens is that they are triggered out while you're animating. So every time, everything can uh, happen just in real time, just like that. So even underside the hair, there are like sub layers right here, as you can see right here, which you can turn on and off. So there's left ear, just like that. And then in the left ear again, there's like shape inside of the layer right here. So you can have something like a floaty ear right over there as well. There's nose right here, which you can turn on and off. And there's freckles that you can work around just like this as well and so forth. So you can disable the freckles out as well. There's freckles too right here. And there's background and everything else right here. And that is how the hierarchy of the character actually works out. So you can design everything on your own in Photoshop or Illustrator, bring it in character animator and then work around with them as well, or use one of the uh, characters which is already designed and work around with this. And this is how everything is actually uh, managed out together in uh, rigging inside of character animator. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.